from Bad Taste, .it from Italy. So kudos on the show. So my very first question for you is starting from Ella and then Aaron. So let's pretend that I don't have an arcade cabinet behind me and a display case with my old consoles and that I don't know anything about video games. So sell me your series like Leonardo DiCaprio in Wolf of Wall Street with the, with the pen. <laughs> And you wanted me to go first for that question? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh. Pause, pause moment for drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. <laughs> Get pumped. <laughs> oh, it's too early in the morning. Um, I will say that, first of all, you don't need to know anything about the game or have played the game to enjoy this show. It's completely independent in the world of Fallout. Absolutely. Um, I would say you've never seen this show before. It is bonkers. Bat shit crazy. There's a uh, stupid fun. Stupid fun. Um, yeah, stupid smart. <laughs> I'm trying to get some juxtapositions in here. You know, they're trying to understand the tone of Fallout. I mean, it's an amazing game. It's an amazing tone. It's unique to this game. Um, and I think fans of the games would know and recognize it, but people who have never seen anything, know nothing about it, they're just going to get the opportunity to be surprised by that tone. That's why you should have got him to go first. <laughs> you let him go. He's so good. <laughs> So, guys, how, how do you recommend watching Fallout? Like binge watching or one one bit at a time? At at, uh, at a time. I don't know. Everybody's so different, right? That's a good question. You know, I personally would binge it mm -hmm. um, because it's it's so Moorish. You really do just want to get through to the end. But I would I would also say watch it multiple times because every time you watch mm. it, I've seen it a few times. Every time you watch it, you'll see so a new thing. I mean, even in the, the costumes, the sets, the, right. the, the the background signs in the background, um, little jokes, Easter eggs for the for the fans of the game as well. Um, mm. There's just so much to pick up on. And for work, I've been on various movie sets and I learned that food is almost everywhere for the troop, for the guests. However, I never tasted any prop food. Have you ever tried the Nuka Cola? And what does it taste like? I'm sorry to disappoint. The Nuka Cola tastes just like the real thing. It, it tastes oh, like yeah. identical. <laughs> um, uh, we had some favorites. So we had some sugar bombs. With oh, the sugar bombs. Sugar bombs were a favorite. Sugar bombs were good. Sugar bombs were good, but if you you go through enough takes, you've eaten too many, and mm. you all of a sudden feel like that five year old kid bouncing off the walls again. <laughs> so, is, uh, sugar rush, okay. So, is there like uh, I don't know if you're into video games, but uh, is there any video game that made you uh, angry because maybe it was too difficult, or you got stuck somewhere without being able to to progress in the game? I mean, me with Fallout, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. I, I, you know, I, someone told me I need to invert the controls or something because I, I'm not. Yeah. It's frustrating to me. Uh, I know what I want to do and uh, where I want to go down, and so yeah. yeah. And I just, you know, when you're in the zone, and I get so mad. Um, and yeah, I don't know. What about you? Is there something that makes you angry about? It made me angry. Video games. Get past it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but it'd be way, way, way back. Old, old, old. It was a Prince of Persia, I think. Mm. You know, the, the... The first one? The first one. Oh, oh yeah. You know, I couldn't... I, I, it took me and my brother, I think, a year just to get past level one. To, to, to make the jump or like... Maybe, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you were to face the wasteland like the one in, in Fallout, uh, which character from a TV show or a movie you would want to have as as an ally? From any TV show or movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah if, <laughs> if you want to mention something from Amazon, so, but be my guess. <laughs> um. Oh, that's a good question. I need somebody impervious. I don't know, like somebody who can who can go through anything. I mean, what if you had Superman in the fall? In, in the yeah, fall? You, oh. sort of, you want someone like indestructible yeah. who could like protect you and do all the hard stuff. Walk but in also, front, literally yeah, walk in front. Your bodyguard. Hey. <laughs> I mean, the power armor. The power armor. Maybe Maximus in the power armor. I mean, thanks. Maybe not Maximus in the power armor. Maybe someone else in the power I armor. I get it. I get um, it. Or maybe you'd want someone really, really funny that would just crack you up the whole time. But you'd probably die instantly. <laughs> but you would enjoy it. <laughs> but it, it would, you know, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. 
So uh, I, as my last question, uh, this one is specifically for you, Ella. We we saw each other in 2021 for a movie called Army of the Dead. That's so right. I know that Zack Snyder is a very busy guy, but uh, since that you were the last survivor of the movie, have you heard something about the sequel of the, of the movie? Army of the with Dead? Zach? Yeah. I haven't, but I would... I would do that in a heartbeat. I love I love working with Zach. I would work with him on anything. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.